Hi guys, this is Chemistry with Kat. I am celebrating a full month on YouTube today, so I thought it would be fun to have a little lab day and explain to you guys what is actually going on in the baking soda and vinegar volcano. Let's go. Behind me is the chemical equation for the baking soda vinegar experiment. Here we have baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. Over here we have vinegar or acetic acid and that gives us carbon dioxide, CO2, H2O, water, and then this strange molecule which is actually sodium acetate. But more technically it's actually the sodium ion and the acetate anion in an aqueous solution, but we just write it like this. This reaction actually occurs in two steps. The first is a double displacement reaction, and then the second is a decomposition reaction. So in step one, we have the baking soda and vinegar reacting, and then that gives us the sodium acetate aqueous solution, and then this weird acid called carbonic acid. Now the reason this has a second step is because carbonic acid is extremely unstable on its own. So in step two, we have a decomposition of carbonic acid. Carbonic acid breaks down into H2O water and carbon dioxide gas. So this first step is called a double displacement reaction and this second step is called a decomposition. When we add these together, the carbonic acid gets canceled out and we get this main equation. And we'll learn how to add and subtract equations together later on my channel. A cool thing about this reaction is that the carbon dioxide will go into the air and that's the bubbles we see in the volcano explosion. Then we're left with H2O and sodium acetate. If you boil off the H2O and make it evaporate, we're left with an aqueous solution of sodium acetate, which will eventually look like ice. It will release the heat and form a little ice cube. Now, another thing to note about this reaction is that it's endothermic, which means that although there is heat produced in the reaction, it takes more heat to break down these reactants than what it's producing. So it's taking up energy and heat, so it's an endothermic reaction. Now, with my safety glasses on, I will show you what happens when you mix baking soda with vinegar. So all those bubbles in there are carbon dioxide. And after the reaction takes place, I'm left with H2O water and sodium acetate. Now we can keep testing it to see how much vinegar we need. Oh, it's gonna overflow. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> carbon dioxide gas is being released in here. Now I can keep testing this to see if it will keep reacting. Oh. There was more. <laughs> and that's it. Now, if you're working on this with kids, you can go through and work on balancing this equation, which is already balanced, but you can double check. And then you can also test out different masses and find the moles and figure out how much of each reactant you need to complete the reaction, find a theoretical yield of how much gas will be produced. There are really no limits to what you can do with this simple at-home science experiment. If you enjoyed this video and this lab day, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you wanna see another lab experiment, put it in the comments and I'll do one sooner than a month from now. But other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow for our Women in STEM series.